M0FXB, welcome to my channel. I get a lot of people messaging me saying, how can I download the uh, image for Pistar that is used on an SD card to run my jumbo hotspot? So I'll just quickly answer that question. So go to pistar.uk, <clears throat> which you've got here. Look on the left here and look for downloads. There you go, and click downloads. Uh, did I click the right one? Download Pistar. There you go. Now, I always download the bottom one. So if you look here, you've got Pistar RPI V4 1.4. That's the one I always download. Now, I know there's lots of other options, but this is just... If you've got a jumbo hotspot on a Pi Zero, <clears throat> this is the one inside it will have a SD card that looks like, uh, you know... I haven't got one in my hand, but it's a tiny little thing that plugs into the bottom of the Raspberry Pi. So put it into an adapter like this, put it in your computer, yeah? You might have to format it and all that kind of stuff. So when you click download, so I'll click it now, it will then start to give you this, uh, the file that you need. So I just click download there. Hopefully it won't take too long, so then, the program you use to transfer this file to your SD card is I use is Belina Etcher. So here's Belina Etcher. Okay, free download. I'll put the link in the description. Belina Etcher. Okay. So when you download it and opened it, it will look like this. So this is what it will look like. So once it's um, this file is open. What I always do is I create a file in my on my computer called Pistar. So I just go, what I do is I just go right, I just right click the page, uh, select, uh, where is it? So I accidentally clicked a file. Right click and I select new folder. And I just do it on my desktop and I call it Pistar. So I know I'm going to find it. It's on my desktop. That's what I do. And so in a minute, this is going to complete <clears throat> this. Um, I mean, you could download WinRAR. That's free. So WinRAR looks like this. Just put it in WinRAR. Most of us have 64 bits. So I just click download. I don't buy anything. I just go to download for the 64 bit English and I click that and then it's I click keep and then I've got WinRAR and you can run WinRAR quite easily and you have to decide if it's if if the file you're downloading is okay and I click okay so that's WinRAR done okay anyway let's go back to where we were so we've got our file here and I'm going to now say yes to that and I'm going to extract it Before you run that, right, that's just WinRAR again. Okay, I, well, I clicked the wrong one, didn't I? So there's the file from Pistar. Let that run, click out the selling stuff. And the one you actually want is, see this middle one here, Pistar RPI version 4.1.4. That's actually the one you want. I don't use the other ones. But anyway, extract it to the file we created on my desktop. So we're going to go, uh, where's my desktop gone? Desktop, and then I called it Pistar, didn't I? So go down, look for P, Pistar. There it is, click OK. And it'll put that image into that file. Let that happen. There you go, it's in there. So right now you don't really need this window anymore. So now go back to the Belina app that you've downloaded, which is, it looks like this. And then see it says flash from file, select flash from file. And well, it's found it straight away here, but I'm gonna to go to, I'm gonna go desktop and I'm gonna find Pi Star. 
And look, there's the image. Double click that and it puts the image there for you. Then select a target. So that is your basically your SD card plugged into your computer. So you select that, but the problem I got is I haven't got one plugged into my computer, but it doesn't matter. Once you select the target, yeah. I've lost it now. Let's start again. Polina, there's the app. Is it hidden it behind all? Oh, there it is there. So flash from file, double click here. You select the target and then you hit flash. And at the end of flash, it does have to say successful, successful. You can't have any fail messages, right? And then once you've got that, then the next step is to put on your WPA file. Now your WPA file is basically your Wi-Fi details. So go back to the, uh, the, PyStar, the PyStar website. This time, go down to PyStar Tools. See, it says PyStar Tools. Click that, and then go down one to Wi-Fi Builder. Now, what you then do is put in your home password, uh, router name and password, or your SSID and password. So let's just say my router is called Home Router, and my password is... Um, uh, Pi star five. Let's just say we click submit. Now we get this little file here. It just looks like a bit of paper. So now copy that and then drag it, drop it, paste it into your SD card while it's still in the computer. Once you've done that, then you can put the SD card into your um, jumbo hotspot and 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 try and let it boot up. And then to try and find it, what you're doing, you're going to use something like uh, a network finder program like um, Advanced IP Scanner. Advanced IP Scanner uh, for it, or Thing on your phone. And then that, that program will basically search your network. I might even have it on here already. Anyway, it's opened already, so let's open it. Again, it's a free program. Install, accept, install. There you go. Probably already got it on here somewhere anyway. Yeah, there it is there. So, and then what you do, you click scan. Hello, it's fine. Now it's finding everything listed on my network. The one that is got my Pi star is this one here, Pi star DMR. So if I right click, copy that, copy IP put it into my desktop, it goes straight to my PyStar dashboard, which is active, and you can see it in the background connected to the um, to my DMR878 radio. So you get the idea, you know where to download it, you add your Wi-Fi, you put it in, and then the next, you know, the, for a separate video is how you, is how you set it up. So 7.3 for now.